So what key lessons do you think you can share with other TSOs who are perhaps considering something like a Nord Pool system? Well, first I will say that uh, one other thing that really should be in place, that these TSOs should be independent from the players in the market. That's uh, what, what is the prerequisite for operating a really good market. Because uh, TSO is a backbone for the market development. So the independency should be there. That's not the case all over Europe today. But I think that we have seen a gradually uh, change in that direction. I'm looking forward to the future of transmission distribution, or, or perhaps the future transmission distribution, namely the smart grid. Mm -hmm. um, is Nordpool set up to manage uh, uh, household microgenerators? And what stresses and strains do you envision this putting on the group? Uh, I would say that these smart grid uh, issues that could be could be a new challenge, but I'm not sure of that, because remember that this will not have any other impact on Norpool than it, the, the, um, uh, the net consumption will be changed. I would say that uh, to implement even more wind power is a much, much bigger challenge uh, in the near future than this smart grid. Now, as IDC analyst Rick Nicholson has pointed out, the utilities industry, the energy industry, has been talking about smart grid for a long time through smart metering, etc. But it's now very much public property. Does this put additional pressure on the industry to respond? Uh, I think that smart grid or smart metering will come. Uh, and smart metering will also be a part of the common future that uh, everybody had more information about their own consumption, the prices and so on. But how much it will change the consumption? That's um, a little uh, hesitating to, to say. Because to implement the new technology, that's one part of it. And that will come, obviously. But will it change the attitude from the consumers? Many of the people who really say that smart grid want, uh, would solve a lot of the current problems uh, for, for the industry, they haven't taken into account the fact that uh, people don't react rational. And looking at Nord Pool and then beyond, is it important, do you think, for Europe's DSOs to have a common idea, a common platform on how to move forward on the smart grid? And do you think we're perhaps near that tipping point? It will obviously be the best um, because uh, it's tendency to have a s even growing integration between uh, in, in all uh, Europe. We have, as I already mentioned, this uh, Nordic market, one Nordic market uh, in the late 90s, uh, 90s. And nowadays we're not talking about the Nordic market, we're talking about at least the North European market or a combination of the Nordic and the Central West Europe market. Uh, and that's growing, growing all the time, but it's, I think that the, the harmonization or the um, standardization of the technology is something that's delaying the process a little, or the lack of standardization, you can say. For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.